guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and welcome to another Chops for Lunch. Just quick, short exercises you can practice on your lunch break to help you uh, keep your chops up and maybe uh, get better at those things. Uh, we've been going through the six-stroke roll stuff, and I was on drummerworld.com, uh, and I saw a video of John Riley teaching a Vinnie Caliuta fill. And that clip was a six-stroke roll followed by two single note triplets. And since we were working through that, I figured, hey, why not work up a little exercise on the pad that will help us to be able to play that fill when we get behind the kit. I hope you have fun with this one. So we're going to take the same basic structure from the Chops for Lunch uh, six-stroke roll part two, which is this. And we're going to fill in those gaps with singles this time. So we'll play our six, right, left, left, right, right, left. And then we'll put in right, left, right, left, right, left. And then we'll do that again. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And then we'll go right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Woo! Alright, so that'll sound and look like this. that up to speed. And start slow, adding singles in while you're doing all this double stuff can be a little bit confusing for your hands. So start slow but not too slow because you want to get to the point where the sticks are bouncing a little bit. If you're at this tempo, then it'll work but it's definitely going to be a different feeling than when you get to the, the point where the sticks are kind of, you're using a little bit of bounce and some fingers to control that bounce, uh, about this tempo. You can get about that tempo, that's a perfect tempo to be, you know, start practicing this exercise. And then doing the singles is, is tough to, to get it fast. get it even. I'm still not totally even. I'm getting better though. So I'm working on this. Uh, so the next thing you're going to do is just cut off that last section and now we're just going to do six stroke roll with triplets. So single six stroke roll triplets, single six stroke roll two triplets, single six stroke roll two triplets. So that'll look like this. Alright, now the last thing we're going to do, that's the sticking for the, the fill that John Riley shows. So if you can work that up, you have most of it down. The, the next part when you get to the drum set is, is moving it around. So on the pad we can't move around a ton unless you have you know, one of those pads with multiple surfaces. I don't, but I can play out here on the edge. Um, or you can kind of go off the table or onto the floor if, if you're on the ground or something like that. So here's what we're going to do now. Uh, I'll put a link to that video down in the description. Uh, so you can click on that video and you can go see what the fill actually looks like on the drum set. On the kit, it's six stroke roll on the snare. And then when we start the singles, we have right, left on the snare, then right, left on the high tom, right, left on the floor tom. And then the next six stroke roll starts on the floor tom. So the six stroke roll is going to be floor tom and then back to the snare. Left, left, right, right, left. And we do the singles again. Snare, snare, tom, 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 tom. starts over. Tom. So the exercise then is going to look and sound like this. Now a little faster. today or you know over the next week and then go home and apply it to your drum set check out that video on drummer world and um, 
you see how John Riley explains it, and then they actually have the footage of Vinny Caliuta playing the fill in context of a solo, uh, and then John Riley's explanation, and then here's how you can practice it at home uh, on your pad. All right, I hope that helps you out. Uh, do leave me a comment down below if you have something to say. Uh, even if you don't have something to say, just say hi or what's up. Uh, at this point, I can respond to almost everything that's posted. If you post something like, hey, or cool, I don't really have much of a response to say to that, but if you have a question or uh, a comment, please leave it down below and I will try to respond to you. Also, if you find this helpful, please uh, hit the like button um, because that'll help me to just uh, get my videos out there more and, and help more drummers and uh, hopefully connect with more people uh, through, through YouTube and, and through drumming. So thank you guys for all of your support and uh, I'll see you in the next video.